Hey boys, it's Armdan. Today we're going to be customizing the Bravado Banshee in Grand Theft Auto Online. And of course, in this customization, we're going to be turning the Banshee into the Banshee 900R. Now, I'm actually not sure if we're going to be able to do this in the agency workshop. Of course, we're not. So I'm going to take this thing down to the ground and we've got to go ahead and drive this thing all the way over to Benny's. So I will see you guys there in just a second. Now, of course, the reason that we are doing the Banshee 900R customization this week is, of course, because the 900R customization or the upgrade from the regular Banshee into the 900R is discounted. It's 50% off this week, so it's going to be pretty much the cheapest time to ever do this right now. So I figured, see what we can do with the 900R. I've never customized it and I have had people ask, so here you are. And of course, here we are at Benny's. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. $282,500 and it's going to turn into the 900R and there we go. Looks really, really good already. So let's go ahead and start customizing. So of course, to start off this customization, we're going to go all the way up on the armor. Next up, of course, we're going to go all the way up on the brakes. For the bumpers, we do have quite a few different front bumper options. Um, of course, we can go for some pretty aggressive options on this car. I'm personally thinking that I want to go for more of a clean build with this thing. So I think what I'm probably going to go for is maybe the classic RS bumper. I don't really like the racing ones too much, so I think the classic RS is going to be a, uh, a pretty good one for us to go for. It's got the canards, but it's not too, too aggressive. We could also go for the bolt-on arches. You know what? Actually, I think we're going to go for that. For the engine, we do have a few different things we can do. We can change the uh, color of the block here. I want to go for the secondary color, I do believe. I think that's going to look pretty good. For the strut brace, uh, I usually go for the titanium one. There are a lot of different options here, so I'll scroll through them really quickly and let you guys see. Um, but there's there's not as many as on some of the newer tuners cars, but uh, there is quite a few. Obviously, for the engine, we're going to go all the way up on that. For the exhaust, we have a few different options here as well. Um, I do like the uh, the twin carbon can. Uh, we also do have the single exit, uh, the chrome tip exhaust there. That does look pretty good. I think we're going to go for the single exit. I do like the look of that, so we'll do that. The fenders, of course, we can remove the rivets if we want to, but the front still has them, so we're going to just keep them on uh, because it's going to match up a little bit better. Now for the hood, we have the stock hood, of course. We have the vented hood. We have the carbon hood. We've got some bolt-on arches that we can add to this thing as well with the stock hood. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also have the smooth hood that we can add on as well. Um, I do like the look of the smooth hood, actually. You know what I'm actually almost thinking is maybe we will go for the smooth hood. Um, let's go for the twin filter hood with the smooth uh, arches. Let's go ahead back to the front bumper here real quick, and let's actually just keep it stock. I know that's kind of boring, but uh, I think it's going to look better in the long run, so we'll do that. Now for the interior, there's a few different things we can do here. These are all generally pretty much the same. Um, I'm not actually going to add a bobblehead because it kind of blocks the view a little tiny bit. I know it's not the most major thing, but it does kind of block the view, so I'll, uh, I'll I'll just keep it off. We will go for the carbon dash and the stripped interior, though. For the doors, of course, we can add carbon door cards. I kind of like stock though, so I'm going to leave it stock. For the seats though, we are going to go for something a little bit different. Let's go for the carbon bucket seats. I like the look of that. For the steering wheels, I always go for the Rally Clubman, so we're going to go for that one. And for the dial color on the uh, interior here, um, what do we want to go for? I almost want to go for a yellow. I think a yellow is going to be clean. Let's do that. Now for the lights, uh, we do have Xenon, of course. We're going to we're going to go for that as always. We can add the 900R power stripe on the side of this thing in white or black. We got the stoplight racer graphics, that's kind of cool. We have the black flash livery, the yellow flash, the black two-tone as well. We have the Bravado Racing Retro Stripes livery, and of course, the Bravado Racing Drift Camo. Not a big fan of any of the liveries on this thing. We're going to keep it stock, actually. For the plate, we are going to go yellow on black. For the respray of the car, now I've actually already got a Banshee 900R that I really, really like the customization of, and I have showed it off in a few different videos, but I'm thinking I'm going to go for something a little bit different than uh, that particular Banshee 900R, and I want to go for a sea green on this thing. Now, you guys might not like the look of this, but I think that this is going to look really, really cool. Not only cool, but also quite unique. I don't think I've ever seen a sea green, probably car in GTA Online, honestly, but let alone a 900R. I think it's already looking pretty good, so I'm happy with uh, with what we got so far. 
For the interior, um, what color do you want to go for here? It does the little dials here, which is kind of cool. Um, I kind of like it in ice white because it makes that dial easier to see, so we'll do that. For the roof, we can actually remove the roof entirely from this vehicle if we so choose. I'm going to keep it on. I do like the look of it, so we'll keep it. For the side skirts, we can change it up a bit. We can make the uh, the fenders go all the way down and uh, sweep a little bit better, which is kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, you cannot remove the rivets, which is really annoying because on the front of the car, I actually did. Uh, so yeah, um, maybe one of the other upgrades does that actually. Let's go for the sports skirts. And what was that option that I was going for? Was it the fenders? It was. Let's go for the rivetless rear arches. Um, it doesn't really matter too much if the bottom has the little rivets. It's 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 okay. I can live with it. Now for the spoiler, we have a few different options. We have the high level spoiler. We also have the mid level spoiler, the drift wing, the high level GT wing, the extreme downforce BGW, and the tarmac attack wing. I like the high level spoiler. I think that that looks really great. So we're going for that. For the suspension, we are going to slam this thing right down to the ground. Uh, you don't get much more travel with it, but we will do that nonetheless. For the rear lid on the trunk we can of course go for the smoothed rear deck lid which is kind of cool we can also go for the bolt-on ducktail deck lid the smooth smooth carbon deck lid and the full carbon deck lid and panels of course we're going to go for the bolt-on ducktail deck lid i think that that looks pretty good I've kind of add something to the wing. Honestly, without the wing, it'd look really good too, but I already kind of chose the wing and I do like the look of it, so we'll just stick with it. Race transmission, obviously we're going for that. The turbo, we got to upgrade it with that as well. For the wheels, I do kind of like the stock wheels, but um, I think that some of the new, I think that some of the new wheels are going to look good on this thing. And what I'm noticing in Benny's right now is that there are no street wheels available for this car, which is kind of odd um, in my opinion, but uh, I guess we'll make do without street wheels. I was planning on going for the Mercy Concaves probably, but uh, this is forcing me to switch up my choice. So uh, that's, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, what do we want to go for here? Let's look in the high end category. Uh, we have some carbon options as well. Uh, we got the Cheetah RRs, which are pretty nice rims. I do like them on this car. I think they look really good. We could go for the Mercies as well. Uh, what about in the sports category? I know we have the Mercies in the sports category. Oh, those are looking so damn good. Yeah, we got to go for those on this thing. I think those look really, really nice. Uh, we could go black. It's kind of boring though. I think I want to go for a stone silver. Um, we could even go for a frost white, but I think stone silver is looking a little better, so we'll do that. Bulletproof tires, we got to add those onto the car, obviously. And for the windows, we got to tint those all the way out. Uh, this thing is looking really, really good in my opinion. I am pretty happy with how this looks. Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking now is because we've got the rivets on some parts of the car and it's smooth on other parts. Kind of wondering if we should just go back to the bolt-on uh, stuff that we could do with the car. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I kind of want to switch up the front bumper though a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it is a little bit boring. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the classic RS bumper just to switch things up. Uh, looks a little better in my opinion. And for the hood, I actually think that I want to just go for the smooth hood. I think that's cleaner. Uh, so we'll do that as well. Um, I am pretty happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks really, really good. So now, of course, it's time to take this thing outside, take a look at it in the sunlight, do a sound test and a full review on the car. So let's go ahead and head outside. And here we are coming out of Benny's. Ooh, the car is looking real good in my opinion, boys. I like the look of this. I think this is super, super clean. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know this is probably not for everybody, but uh, in my opinion, the 900R in this in this sea green looks pretty damn good. Um, now the 900R, it uh, at one point was the fastest supercar in Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, it was for about 10 seconds before um, another update came out, which released an even faster supercar. Obviously, you guys are probably thinking, well, the Banshee is a sports car. How is this a supercar? Well, the 900R upgrade actually turns this thing into a supercar. Now, by today's standards, this thing, you know, should be in the sports category. Uh, we have sports cars that are faster than supercars now, uh, even sports cars that are faster than most supercars. So uh, the 900R, needless to say, it, it's it's not that great of a performer, um, especially in comparison to some of the newer supercars. So uh, you're not going to win any races with the Banshee 900R, not that you were probably expecting to, because the Banshee 900R commonly is known now as a great drift car, which of course it actually is. Uh, the 900R is fantastic when it comes to drifting. Now, I suck at drifting. I'm also on PC, so it's uh, I feel like it's a little harder to drift on the old PC here, but um, 
I was trying to give it a shot there, but it just didn't seem to be going too well. Uh, you can double clutch with the Banshee really easily, which is a nice feature. So that definitely uh, definitely makes it easier to drift with this thing, I think. Um, so that is uh, that is kind of cool. Now the 900R, uh, it doesn't have the greatest handling ever, that's for sure. Um, it also doesn't have the greatest acceleration or top speed ever, but it's still pretty good. And as a free mode car or a car to take to car meets, pretty much do anything fun with, the Banshee 900R is a fantastic car. Obviously, if you like customizing, it's got tons of customization that can be done to it. It's fast enough, it drifts, it goes pretty quick in a straight line. Um, there's really not much more that you can ask from the 900R. And of course, this week, while the upgrade is on sale, I would say is probably the best time to upgrade this thing into the 900R if you guys have been waiting to do this for a while. Um, even if you haven't been waiting, you should still do this. This is a really cheap time to upgrade this car. Obviously, by today's standards, the 900R is still not that expensive of a supercar to upgrade, um, but of course those Benny's options do cost you a, uh, a pretty penny, so it does run up the cost of the car quite a lot. But anyway guys, if you want a 900R, I would say get it no matter what, even if this thing is not on sale, even if you're watching this after the sale has passed, if you want a 900R, get one. It is a fantastic car for free mode. It's really fun to drive and I like it a lot that's for sure and I can honestly say that I recommend picking it up it is one of the more OG supercars in the game now and uh, I, I do think that almost everybody should own a Banshee 900R unless for some reason you absolutely despise this thing so anyway guys there you have it that's pretty much it for the Banshee 900R customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online if you guys enjoyed this video if you learned something a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.